Hello, Nathan. It's Ian Bolton here. Uh, listen, well, well done today. Um, did you give Chelsea a good run for their money, do you think? Look, I thought, yeah, we did. After and after we got to grips of the first sort of 15, 20 minutes, you know, we gave ourselves a mountain to climb. And look, I, I accept a little bit of responsibility there. I wanted us to be bold in our shape in terms of what we, we did so we could get a little bit more uh, possession actually in the game because I didn't want to just defend. Um, and maybe we got things tactically wrong. It, 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 well, you know, tactically not quite there in the, in the first 15 minutes. But once we made the change, I thought, look, I thought we were excellent. I thought we, we really did. We were disciplined. Um, we had a goal for it. Uh, we scored. We could have scored on the on the edge of half time. But look, we're playing against a wonderful side here that that overall deserve to win. But it's a great test for us. So I'm very proud of the group for that. What can you What can you take most from this whole experience as you you know head head back into Championship football? Do you think? Well, look, it's a learning curve for all of us. Learning curve for me as a manager. It's a learning curve for us as a players. But also, it, it'll give them you know great. This, this week will give us great belief, ironically, because we only won one in the three games. But as a championship team, probably the hardest week you can have near enough to go away to Bournemouth, away to Brentford, away to Chelsea. And in all three games, you know, we've, we've been good. We've, we've been good. We were excellent at Bournemouth. I thought we were excellent for 60, 65 minutes against Brentford. Just couldn't quite get the goal. And then today we've shown that we have no fear of a top four Champions League team. Now, look, they... They're a fantastic side, and credit to Frank. Congratulations on the win, but they're a wonderful side with some, with some uh, you know, outstanding players, and we can't compete at that level at this point. Just can you clear something up for us? Um, the the match kicked off late to start with, and and then there seemed to be a delay at the start of the second half. Was 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 that because of a, a timing issue somewhere, or a clock that was slow? No, look, we we change. It's probably a ninety-second, two-minute walk. So when the when you know you blow half time, it takes us two minutes to get back. So by the time we have our staff meeting and then go and thing, suddenly it comes, the bell comes, but we don't know that there's the bell because there's there's no bell there because we're changing in the leisure centre, and then we have another two minutes to walk back to the thing. So it's you know these are strange times, the COVID times. We understand. It's just. You know, we're two minutes instead of coming out and the bell going and being in the tunnel and straight away we're, we're two minutes away. So it's 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 just because of the times. Thank you. Uh, listen, well played today. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I was I was going to ask the same question as Ian actually, and but I, I got cut off on the internet. Well, we're struggling to hear you, Adam. So, um, I'm assuming it's not a matter of the clock being. Hello. Oh. No. Yeah, it's not it's not working. Sorry. Hey, you now. Yeah, you can hear me okay. There you go. Yeah, I, I, it was. It was. So I was actually going to ask about the clock, so then I missed the answer because my internet went. But it's nothing to do with the clock, right? No, it's it's just because we, it's so far to walk. It's a far. We, we're changing the leisure centre or, or a fitness centre mm -hmm. two two minutes away. So um, there's no bell there, so we don't know when the referee wants us out. So we have to go off timings. But you know, by the time we walk there, it's two minutes less, and then we have to speed did, and do everything, and then we have to get back. That affect the pitch. <laughs> Did it affect you slightly because I noticed the second the, the warm up? Hi, Nathan. I just wondered if you had um, an issue the, before the start of the second goal. half. I had to be really cut short into the match. Did that be affected? It's going on. Um, Nathan, I want to finish with the first goal because there, there was a, I think there was two balls on the pitch at one point. Um, and I think within the rules, the play should be stopped. So I wonder if you had a view on that. Well, I, 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 the rules have changed, apparently. So I don't know. I don't know when they've changed, but the rules have changed. Um, there was two balls. First of all, we asked the fourth official, is it multi-ball? He said no. So you have to use the same ball. The reason the ball's on the sideline is because if they do, do go into the top of the stand, then there's no crowd there to throw it back. So you use another ball. But there's no multi-ball. The referee said... 
I asked the referee, is it multi-ball? And he just kept quoting the rule book to me. So I have no idea. I, I, I couldn't get clarification. He's actually gone. I waited 30 minutes and he's actually got changed and gone. So I, I'm, I'm baffled. I don't, I don't know what's going on because I, don't, I did not know. I'm, I've been a professional footballer for 29 years. I've been a manager and a coach for nine. And in all that time, when the second ball comes on the pitch, you, the play stops. But apparently not today. So I don't know. It just so happened they, they scored as well, didn't it? I mean, that was kind of doubly frustrating, really. But if the rules have changed and I, I don't know about them, then fine. So one, we think it shouldn't have been stood. But two, if the rules have changed, fine. But then when I went to speak to the referee, he literally couldn't make eye contact with me. He treated me with the most... The biggest amount of disrespect I've ever uh, I've ever been treated with, and just kept quoting a rule book about something I wasn't actually asking him. So it, it puzzled me. So I'm supposed to be wearing a badge today, which says re respect on. It's got to be two ways. Who am I supposed to have respect for? I have respect for everyone we come up against. But today we've shown very little from the referee, and, and that's that saddens me. And, um, how pleased with the performance of your players after after going to down after in the first twenty minutes? I mean, it, it could have. Uh, they could have scored more, obviously, and it could have been a, a not, not the best day for you, but to, to show the character to come back and score and then uh, um, keep it out of the second half. I must be really pleased with that. Yeah, very much so, because look, we, we, we know that you, you've got you've to really be uh, defend well to keep <coughs> a, a top four Champions League team like Chelsea at, uh, in Oid Bay. You know that. You know that they're going to have chances. You need to keep it to do well. You need your back four to do well. You need to, to press at the right time. Look, we didn't give ourselves a mountain to climb, and I accept part of the blame for that with, with in terms of because we wanted to be bold early on. But once we once we changed and got to grips with everything, look, I, I, I thought it was it, it was a real good account of ourselves. And look, we had moments. You're not going to dominate play. You're not going to dominate chances against Chelsea. Not us at this point in time. But when we had those moments, we needed to take those moments. Right for our time, we had a great chance with the header. And then on 60 minutes, we had a wonderful chance as well. But look, they could have put a different outcome. But let's not say, I'm not sitting there saying we should have won the game, we should have done this. But we've given ourselves a real good account of ourselves and we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Champions League team. And that gives me real, real pleasure and real heart because I know that whatever I ask this group to do, they do. And, and I said, we know where we are, um, but this will give us real good belief going into the league campaign. And obviously, it's a good, good, um, well, a good, good move for, for Jordan's goal. And then when, when Harry goes through on about an hour at the hour mark, I mean, it's a great chance, isn't it? Yeah, and look, and it's just a little bit more belief. It's a little bit of belief we're lacking because it's the first time we did get it down, strung eight, nine, ten passes together and scored a goal. Then every time we did break the press, we got in at the back four. And then it's just belief, quality. We crossed it so many times into the keeper's hands, you know, or we hit the first man or or, we, or, or with Harry's chance, you know, a couple of chances we could have, could have been a little bit more clinical. But that's that's what you have to do against these sides. And look, there'll be Premier League sides come here that little that, that, that'll concede more than we did, that'll take take a bigger beating than we did. So I'm not happy with the with the result, but overall I know this will stand us in good stead for what we want to achieve this year. And I um, mean uh, Simon Stowe as well, penalty save at the end. I mean four one would have been, been a little bit harsh, wouldn't it? But it's a good good stop for me, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, made two good really good saves in the game. No, I, I I felt he could have done better. Um obviously with the first goal it's his kick to go straight out the play that gives them that. That shouldn't have happened, but then he makes, you know, he makes makes amends with two wonderful saves, the penalty save and one, you know, with his feet. So, so look, we've all come here today. We've all been tested. This will stand us in good stead for what we want to achieve. Because, with all this, with all respect, a cup run would really hinder what we need to do because we have to rearrange games and so on and so forth. Now, but we've had a wonderful game against Chelsea. Tested ourselves. We will learn from this, and it will stand us in, in good stead for what we uh, what we what we want to achieve in the league. Thanks, Nathan. Cheers. James. Hi, Nathan. Um, I just wanted to cast your mind back to back in League Two and you came up against the title winners Northampton, Chris Wilder, and I think you said it at the time after that 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 was the sort of performance and team you needed to emulate to get to the next step. Now you've played Chelsea's Premier League team. How can you use this 
in the same way? It's exactly, it's a great question because that's what we said. You know, we, we always look in, at, at that time, it was a realist, you know, it was the next goal that we needed to, to put a team out there. And without being disrespectful, we probably had a team that, that was, in the end, really more fluent than, than, than that Northampton team. But, you know, uh, Chris has done fantastically well and had a great side and showed what it took to get out of that league. We did that um, and with a, with a wonderful way of playing. So we used that. It was just the work rate and the organisation and the desire to do well. Um, and that's what, what, what helped us. Then we knew that we had a team that could get out of League One. Uh, and we did that because we already knew we were, that was in place. Now we're at the championship level. And to, to, get, to get a side that competes regularly, um, we knew what we had to do. And we've done that. Now, if we want to get to the next level, we won't be competing with Chelsea for, for a number of years. Because realistically... They must have 500 million in that in that squad. Now we're not going to get that for a little while, regardless of what happens with, with the stadium and so on. But for us to get through the, this level we're in, then look, this this day will stand us in good stead of, of what we need to do in terms of the athleticism, the way they move the ball. All these are things for us to do because we want to get better. We want to get better at our level and to start causing teams problem at our level. And if we if we do that and we take the positives from this and, and the learning curve from this, then we will become a better side. As we really will. And we will gain more points, even more points than what we have now. How big do you think that, that gap is, uh, you know, between the, discovering that sort of clinical edge and the speed and the athleticism? How, how, how bridgeable is that gap? Look, it's been to a certain extent, but, but, but let's, let's not get carried away. These these have been a Premier League, so they've won the Premier League twice in the last 10 years, I think. Um, that's a top, 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 top level of player um, and so on. What we have to do is make sure one, you know, we stabilised last year. This now we want to uh, push boundaries at this level and finish as high as we can. And then we regroup and build again. Now we're at that stage. These are all learning curves for us. But look, this, this is not a realistic goal for us in, in, in the short term. You know, have a, have a multi-building there that, that finances certain stuff. They have a, a level player in the building. We won't be able to attract for a while, but that's, that's that, that ultimately this is our end goal. But right now, it's it's a learning curve. It'll be a bit learning curve. We'll stand us in good stead. Thanks, Nathan. Cheers. Cheers.